The Confessions of St. Augustine, Book 10, Chapter 41 Thus then have I considered the sicknesses of my sins in that threefold concupiscence, and have called your right hand to my help. For with a wounded heart have I beheld your brightness, and stricken back I said, who can attain thither? I am cast away from the sight of your eyes. You are the truth who preside over all, but I, through my covetousness, would not indeed forego you. Then is my hope strong in him that you will heal all my infirmities. By him who sets at your right hand and makes intercession for us, else should I despair. For many and great are my infirmities, many they are and great, but your medicine is mightier. We might imagine that your word was far from any union with man, and despair of ourselves, unless he had been made flesh and dwell among us. Affrighted with my sins, and the burden of my misery, I had cast in my heart and had purposed to flee to the wilderness. But you forbade me and strengthened me, saying, Therefore Christ died for all, that they which live may no longer, may now no longer live unto themselves, but unto him that died for them. See, Lord, I cast my care upon you, that I may live and consider wonderful things out of your law. You know my unskillfulness and my infirmities. Teach me and heal me. He, your only Son, in whom are hid all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge, has redeemed me with his blood. Let not the proud speak evil of me, because I meditate on my ransom, and eat and drink and communicate it, and poor desire to be satisfied from him among those that eat and are satisfied, and they shall praise the Lord who seeks him. Book 11, Chapter 1 Lord, since eternity is yours, are you ignorant of what I say to you? Or do you see in time what passes in time? Why then do I lay in order before you so many relations? Not of a truth that you might learn them through me, but to stir up mine own and my readers' devotions toward you, that we may all say, Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. I have said already, and again will say, For love of your love do I this. For we pray also, and yet truth has said, Your Father knows what you have need of before you ask. It is then our affections which we lay open unto you, confessing our, our own miseries and your mercies upon us, that you may free us wholly, since you have begun, that we may cease to be wretched in ourselves and be blessed in you, seeing you have called us to become poor in spirit and meek and mourners and hungering and a thirst after righteousness, then merciful and pure in heart and peacemakers. See, I have told you many things as I could and as I would, because you first would that I should confess unto you, my Lord God. For you are good, for your mercy and yours forever. Chapter 2 But how shall I suffice with the tongue of my pen to utter all your exhortations and all your terrors and comforts and guidances, whereby you brought me to preach your word and dispense your sacrament to your people. And I suffice to utter them in order, 
the drops of time are precious with me. And long have I burned to meditate in your law, and therein to confess to you my skill and unskillfulness, the daybreak of your enlightening, and the remnants of my darkness, until infirmity be swallowed up by strength. And I would not have aught besides steal away those hours which I find free from the necessities of refreshing my body and the powers of my mind, and of the service which we owe to men, or which thou we owe not, yet we pay.